Before and looking ahead, how should our country generate the energy and electricity needed to heat our homes? For years, fossil fuels like coal and natural gas have been the main source, but President Joe Biden's economic spending plans, which could get a vote in the House next week, call for more wind turbines. So what would that look like and how could it benefit your town? Here's Joe St. George. He found out in rural Texas. It's windy. It feels like a fall day in Texas. Alito Castillo is taking us for a walk, and while there are plenty of windy cities around the country, we have an awesome wind turbine. <laughs> it's doubtful wind is as much a part of life in your town as it is here in Taft, Texas. As you can see from my hair blowing around, like, you know, there's a lot of wind. Castillo's family has lived here for generations, but these wind turbines have only been around 10 years or so. In total, there are around 200 of them, which averages out to be about one turbine for every 15 people who live in this small town. Each one's around 400 feet. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. We are taking something that is provided to us naturally and using it for energy. 2020 produced a record amount of new wind power installations in our country. Even in the middle of a pandemic, it accounted for 42% of all new sources of energy last year. But the extent in which wind production grows even more. So this climate crisis is an enormous opportunity. Is very much dependent on whether President Biden gets his spending package through Congress. That bill is separate from the infrastructure bill, which is already passed. Currently, it contains $235 billion worth worth of tax incentives for renewable energy meant to encourage companies to make more investments in projects like this. It's an industry that supports not only the landowner. Sergio Contreras is with Rio Grande Valley Partnership. He says wind turbine construction doesn't just create jobs in places where there are few. It creates new forms of tax revenue. The county government where these were built has received over 40 million from the operator since 2006. It's also transforming education. So the community colleges have implemented brand new programs to provide this workforce. A two year program will produce a worker that's going to be paid about $55,000. As for Castillo, the tank farms over there, she admits the town isn't entirely relying on wind. After all, Texas is still drilling plenty of oil, but she says if her town can contribute just a little more to the environment, your town can too. If Texas can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> In Taft, Texas, I'm Joe St. George.